Good morning all Witch Bookie followers and welcome back to day 7 of the Galway Festival. It's been a long and pretty bruising week if I won't lie. Uh, there's been plenty of close calls, there's been plenty of near misses. It could have been a brilliant week. Instead we've had to deal with an awful lot of places and I suppose what put the tin hat on it yesterday was Digby falling in the 2.30 race when going very well at 3.8 and not only him falling but bringing down my other horse in the race, Ambitious Fellow. Thank goodness both horses are up okay, but it just summed up the luck I've been having this week. But that being said, day seven, the Sunday card's always a good card, actually, and I'm throwing a fair few bullets at it just as a, a last hit and hope, I suppose, for the month of July and this week as well. So, fingers crossed, we can have an okay day. Starting off at the two o'clock, the two-mile handicap hurdle, quite like Nibiru in this race for Tony Martin. I know he comes into this race as Martin's second string on paper, but on answer, it's been beat twice on the flat this week, and doesn't look to have had too many excuses for either. I thought he had maybe excuses in the two-mile handicap, maybe not so much in the mile six. Teed up was a horse that I said yesterday, actually, that I probably would back uh, if, if he was turning out again today. The problem is he's turned up this morning at seven to four, and it's not much of a price. Nibiru <coughs> was checked at unlucky times behind teed up earlier in the week when finishing fifth around the two out mark and i just think he might still be in a decently handicapped horse lee mckenna takes the ride and i think he should go okay at 17 to 2 each way with five places available moving on to the 230 race over two miles seven and again another tony martin horse feels like we're going back in time back in all these martin horses but rebellious gale who won actually for me a few starts ago in limerick and won very tidily as well he then ran a decent enough race over fences over a trip far too inadequate for him and steps right back up in trip for this return to hurdles he's five to one at the moment each way with bet three six five with five places available i don't see him being out of the five personally speaking Moving on to the 3.05 race, which is the two mile six furlong uh, rated chase. Um, and I think it's a race that was won last year by Battle Over Doyen, and I'm going to be backing him to repeat the feat. He was a very good fifth in the Galway plate earlier this week when travelling with a lot of zest and jumping quite nicely. This race is tailor made for him, and if he brings his grade one class to the table, he should be winning it. He's currently 7 to 4. The 340 race is another horse that I backed earlier in the week and he actually ran a very good race before running out of steam up the hill in the Galway Blazers and that's Russian Diamond for Emmett Mullins and Dunham Myler. He ran a very good race as I say in the Blazers when finishing 7th. He jumped with an awful lot of zest. He travelled fluently as well which was good to see. He drops back to 2 mile 2 here and hopefully he can do a job. He's currently 6 to 1 each way. Uh, with four places available, I believe, and I think he's got a fantastic chance if he can handle this softer ground down in trip. Hopefully, he can go well and do the business. And then finally, the 410 race. I'm going to take two stabs at the Ahanura handicap over seven furlongs. Two Ado McGuinness's horses in this, but two of them slightly down the betting, and both were a little bit unlucky in the BMW mile earlier in the week. One of them being Salt and Stall, who's been a Galway regular. Throughout his life, he got stu got stopped to an absolute standstill turning in in the BMW mile. Had no chances, ended up finishing 12th. Uh, but don't look into that form whatsoever. Uh, he looked and tra was travelling like a horse who was still well handicapped. Colin Keane takes over, who's obviously had some brilliant days on him as well. He's 9-1 to one currently with five places available. And the other horse was the fast finishing 5th in that race, Pierre Lapin, who just got out... A little bit too late, and anyway, Storm Tome to grab fifth in the BMW mile. He steps back to seven furlongs. He's in almost a coffin draw stall one. And I say that just because it seems hard to obviously get out and get your gaps. But at the same stage, he's a horse that does need cover. And he does like being in between horses and weaving his way through. So it could work out for Pierre Lapin. I think a strongly run seven furlongs will be exactly what this horse needs. He's currently 12 to 1. And he's my second bullet for the Hanor handicap. Anyway, hopefully we'll have a good final day. Hopefully you've had a better week than I have had. And, and a bit better luck as well. As we start revving up towards the jump season. Which, fingers crossed... Things will all get better when we get back watching jumps racing on a more regular basis. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video and have enjoyed the videos throughout the week. Do let me know if you have. And obviously like the video down below. Subscribe to the Witch Bookie channel for more of it. And I will see you very soon for another video and hopefully a decent one as well. Best of luck.